Hello and welcome back to my Android tutorial series. This is tutorial number 12. This is the save list to database and then edit lists from a database uh, example. This is a continuation of number 11. Let's go ahead and fire up our tutorial. As you can see, looks pretty much the same as number 11, but let's add a thing to it. And it saves it. Now we can pull that up and resave it, and you can see, now we've edited it, but now if we do another one, it adds a new one. So we can then leave, come back, and it still persists. So it's got all the other features of number 11, just with the ability to edit uh, and change uh, existing entries. Now let's examine our project. As you can see, there's just the same two classes as before. Uh, looks pretty much the same as it did to start with. First thing you'll note, we've got a, a single string variable added to our class. This is the note ID. This helps us track which note we are working with. Uh, if it's a new note, it's set to null. Uh, you can see all this is the same. Uh, down here, we have on our list, we have a set on item click listener. Uh, this is how we know which item uh, we clicked on. You can see down here, here's the definition of it. Uh, we take the value of the ID, we store that in the node ID, we then use that to get a cursor with our database helper, and then we use that cursor to get the string uh, from the note, and we set that to our edit text. The only other thing that's changed is on our onSave method, now it's got an if, node is null, it's an insert, else it's not an insert, it's an, uh, it's an update, we update the entry to the new value of that text string, and then we set the node ID to null, so then the, the entry after that will be treated as a new entry. Uh, and that should be everything in the tutorial.12.java. Uh, you can see the node adapter and the node holder are identical, uh, and everything else is exactly the same as 11. Now let's go examine our node helper class. You can see everything is the same. Um, we've just added a few more methods. We've added an update method. Uh, looks very close to the insert method, except it takes two variables, and the ID of the row in the database, and the value uh, of the note, the string. And you can see everything looks the same, except down here, you've got, um, you've got to pass it the ID equals, uh, so that it can find the row in the database that is updating. And you need to pass it this uh, array of strings uh, containing the arguments in question. And then down here, you've got the other method that we've added, which is the get by ID. And this is so we can pull a specific row from our table uh, in our database containing all of our notes. And it's the same as before. Uh, you've passed it a array of strings containing the IDs in question. Uh, and you execute the query, and it returns the cursor. That's pretty much it. That's uh, how to uh, edit entries from a database. Um, if anyone's now curious, I I've got all these up for download on my website for a couple bucks. Uh, also, if anyone would like uh, to request a specific tutorial or a tutorial more in-depth, feel free to email me. Uh, I'm always happy to take requests. I can make, uh, try to make them as simple as possible, but if you'd like either more uh, detail on a specific topic or uh, additional commentating in the files, or you just have a question in general, feel free to either message me, uh, email me, uh, or visit my website. It's mirmersoft.com. It's my WordPress blog. It's got all these tutorials listed on it. Uh, hope this helped you out, and let me know uh, if there's anything else you guys need.